This live martial arts training and workout video, you're gonna learn how to fight like Morgan from The Walking Dead using this hiking staff, also known as an Okinawan Joe or a Japanese Joe, which is a medium size martial arts staff. This one is 54 inches, it's made out of hickory, it's almost unbreakable. You can see what it looks like in the link below. That's the first link. But take a look at this. If you don't have one, think about getting one. It's a simple self-defense tool. You can train with any walking staff, either this Japanese Joe or the longer uh, Okinawan bow or Japanese bow, or even the shorter Hanbo, the walking stick size. Once you learn how to do that, you can carry that device and simply create distance, thrusting into the, uh, the attacker, striking at these angles, coming down, coming straight across. You can push in using this hard piece of hickory, this hard piece of uh, wood to smash the nose, teeth, throat, eyes. It's very effective. So we're going to use this basic hiking staff, just like Morgan from The Walking Dead. If you've ever seen that TV series, he dispatches, terminates, erases, eradicates many of The Walking Dead, the zombies. That's what I think they are, right? using a simple tool, simple self-defense tool, which is this. Now you're gonna do this warm up. This is to get blood to flow into your wrist, your forearm, your shoulder, your elbow. Keep everything safe from injury. After you do that on 30 seconds per hand, start to go back and forth. You're gonna learn how to fight with an ambidextrous style using both sides like Morgan from The Walking Dead with a simple self-defense tool, the hiking stick or the hiking staff. So you wanna get good at going from one hand to the other one. This also you can see it's pulling my wrist around more, increasing flexibility. Now, if you like working with the martial arts staff for self-defense or a walking stick or hiking staff, give me a thumbs up. If you like Morgan from The Walking Dead, thumbs up. If it's not your cup of tea, thanks for coming anyway. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Good morning, Matthew. Good morning to everybody who's here. Now that you've warmed up, I want you to get right into the basic strike so you can practice how to fight like Morgan from The Walking Dead with this simple self-defense tool. Thanks for that thumbs up. The walking stick or the hiking staff, you're going to point your thumb at the threat. By turning your hand this way, that snaps it up into the back hand. So it's between me and the threat. We're going to call that water bag a zombie, the threat, right? I'm Morgan from Walking Dead. You're Morgan. We turn it up into the back hand, and then I'm just going to push through first. That's your first attack. I want you to get this pull cue type sliding motion through your hands. Hello, Naj, good to see you. Naj, if you're down in Miami, the weather's changing a little bit, right? It's beautiful. From here, I'm in uh, uh, West Palm, just a little bit north of Naj. It's beautiful right now. But sliding through the hand, that's a basic thrusting motion. You can generate a lot of force when you hold this tight, and this hand is just directing that force. Now, the second way I want you to practice is also a thrust, and that's with both hands on your staff on your simple self-defense tool, stepping in adds more force. So practice, get behind your staff, point your thumb, thrust. Then the second one, point your thumb, two-handed thrust. Both hands are tight on the staff and notice that I'm turning the back hand up and the top hand over. That locks it in so I don't go flying back when I run into something with a lot of force. Now the next way that I want you to practice striking from here is pulling into the same shoulder and coming down, almost like you're chopping down a tree. Think for self-defense, temple, neck, jaw, shoulder, any joint that you can break or disable for self-defense. Your goal in self-defense, it's too much noise back there. Your goal for self-defense, it sounds like a, one of those uh, walking dead, making noises back there, it's getting ready to whack it. Anything that you can destroy for self-defense is gonna be effective. So you're just bringing that hand into your shoulder and straight down. Now you'll notice that I started right here. I turn this hand and I pull into my shoulder. Notice when I pull into my shoulder, my hand is actually sliding down. That allows a lot more distance between here and here, right? That gives me more striking surface. I can keep the threat away from me, which is what I wanna do in self-defense. If you can create distance between yourself and the threat, you want as much as you can. So I point the thumb, I pull it in. Now I notice that this back hand is kind of turning it up. I don't wanna bring it that far away from my body because I'm gonna keep it in front of my body while I'm fighting for self-defense. So I'm just sliding it down and as I slide down, I'm applying pressure. 
you're going to apply pressure as you slide and that's going to accelerate popping the strike making it uh, more uh, powerful Nash said it's beautiful in the morning where he is and we get rainy in the afternoon that's true beautiful rain cools it off even more it's beautiful right now everything's lush and green but it always is in sunny south florida point your thumb put those together practice one strike practice the second thrust practice the third one and from this position slide your hand to the other side and bring this across almost like you're punching into the face hello pie universe this is love from india thank you for that thank you from india bringing this across india is the birthplace of the asian martial arts you guys have silambam gakta all these great kirapati all these great different martial arts that started in india and then moved around asia and developed into kung fu and karate and uh, taekwondo and everything else that we know judo jujitsu but it all started the birthplace we're in india in the mountains and in the plains and in the desert thrust down bring the back hand through practice going down on top now if it's in your back hand you're going to lift and you're also going to do that two-handed pushing thrust and again think of what you can remove or destroy for self-defense think of targeting nose teeth throat solar plexus groin private parts anything in the center line with this thrusting strike you can also practice stepping off the angle meaning the thread is coming in here i just kind of take one small side step i want you to see what my feet are doing because it's so simple you can do it easily you can do it from the first practice when i have my feet here i simply step and yes you can see i'm wearing shiny soft bottom dress shoes with my workout pants that's because i'm getting ready to go back i just had like a five minute break i'm teaching 500 kids again this week it keeps growing it's like 300 400 it's gonna be close to 500 because i'm adding a group on friday i added a group on sunday and yesterday i already taught 80 some kids i've already up to 80 some today i've got three more sessions of little kids then i come back here and i've got a session of teenagers and then i have a, a session of adults after that I appreciate that, Naj. Thank you so much. That really helps. I had to fix the air conditioning yesterday. Naj, I'm one, one block from the ocean. The salt water eats everything. I had to fix one little piece on the air conditioner. It was 500 bucks. So, Naj, I really appreciate that. I appreciate all of you being here and helping out. From here, I left, step to the side, let them go running by, but before they do, jab them with it for self-defense. From here, you can bring this around and down. That's a new strike we haven't done yet. I do this all the time in class, but it's often after that side step. So from here, side step with that thrust, bring this hand around almost like you're churning butter and you're going to smash. See how powerful that is? This hand comes up to that shoulder and I'm simply pushing down and turning my shoulder at the same time. You can practice that from here, practice step to the side, thrust, bring it around and down, switch hands, and finish kind of like a Japanese katana or a, a, a wooden sword, right? If you use the Japanese wooden sword, either the shinai, the, um, the bamboo sword, if you do kendo, or the boken. I don't know, I couldn't think of boken. Boken, if you practice more like yaido or you practice aikido, this is an aikido weapon, the jo. Jo and boken often go together. This simple boken strike, left hand on the bottom usually, unless you're left handed, your right hand would be on the bottom. One more time in the back hand, step through, thrust, bring it around, smash, bring it over the top, come down at the angle or straight down if you want. Look at this. You can practice sliding your hands as they go by, never losing contact with your weapon, right? Practice here, getting this position strike, this position strike. That's a great way. It's a fun way to break up the monotony of doing the same thing over and over again. Practice your strikes, but then practice the way you change your hand position over and over again. Get really smooth. Get fast with that. I want to show you one more, and then I got a jet. I'm cutting it close. I got to get back before 110. The very first time I did that, I made the video. We worked out together, you and I did. And then I raced back, and I got stopped by the police officer who said, where are you going to in such a hurry? I said, that school right there. I have a class in two minutes. And he shook his head and he walked back, started right to take, came back up and he said, don't do it again. Go teach the kids. I said, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Here's the key. Don't ever argue. Don't say, I can't believe you stopped me. I wasn't speeding. I knew I was speeding. I was laughing. He came up. 
I said, I'm so sorry. I know I was speeding. I was racing to get back. Uh, I was wrong. I could have hurt somebody. You're right. I shouldn't have done that. And, when, <laughs> but, and I know this because I was a police officer. When you're more honest with them, they often appreciate that. And they're like, yeah, you're right. You were a bonehead. Don't do that again. I'll give you a warning. I did get a warning. All right. Yeah, salt in the air. Um, Naj, the whole unit up there is just rotting apart. I'm like, I got to get out of this because I don't own the building. I just rent the space. And, and I have to pay for it. But I got to get it out of here before they pay for it. I asked the guy, I said, how long before I replace that? He said, get about a year left. I said, all right, we got to start moving up the road. But I like being close to the ocean, right? So you pay to play. From here, you're going to swing forward by simply turning that shoulder, just like you're going to deliver a reverse punch. When you do that, the hand does the same thing. It starts to turn over. Just like a good reverse punch, like a boxer's punch, you're going to come through and turn it. Yeah, and you know what Matthew says, honesty, I said it's more than honesty. It's personal responsibility. Take responsibility or you're going to keep making the same mistake over and over and over again for the rest of your life. Anytime you blame something on anybody or anything else, I don't care what it is, even in something that doesn't obviously seem like your fault, take responsibility for it and then you have power over it. Anytime you say, oh, he did, she did, they did, they're doing this to me, you give all your power away. So take all your power back. It was my fault. I shouldn't have done it. You're right. <laughs> Give me my ticket. And he came up and instead he said, get there, teach those kids, but don't, uh, don't do it again. All right. Joe Staff, Pi Universe, you're welcome. Thank you very much. This is the last technique. Remember, it's just like punching. It's that turn of the hip. You can do it in the front hand or it can be in that back hand, but it comes so fast, right in and across his face, and he doesn't see it coming, right? From here, bam, straight through, and lights out, fights over, you win especially if you're Morgan from The Walking Dead, simple self-defense tools, you're using a hiking staff, you don't have any time to waste. There might be 50, 100 of them coming. You've gotta get that, bam, get that in there, bring this through here, get this guy, smash him, come back here, take that one out, go for the legs, finish him off by smashing his brain, because it's a movie, right, or a TV show. But you can use the same techniques for self-defense. Practice those and we'll do another one of these later this afternoon. You guys have been great. Thanks again, Naj. I'll see you in a little bit.